Though it took me some time to find out where I needed to be. Yeah, I'm ready, ready to love. Nah, I'm just. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, it's me, Be the CBS Scholar, and I'm on my walk. And I wanted to drop a quick video about ready to love. Uh, what the heck season is this? I think it's season nine. Um, they were in Dallas last time. Now they're in Fort Worth. And oh my God, uh, this, this is going to be real quick because this episode seems like filler. Uh, not much popping. Um, so I'm just like, as I stated earlier, because I'm just getting these videos out. Because y'all, this work week has been horrendous, y'all. I almost quit a couple times. Lord have mercy. I'm just I'm just waiting for the lottery on my sugar daddy to come through. So I ain't gotta work no more. But anyways, <laughs> um back to ready to love. <laughs> ready to love. Um so this episode was about um non well deal breaker not deal breakers slash non-negotiables and it started off with uh i mean koshia and mika were in the bottom and will in his short set was letting us know um who was gonna be released and people were surprised but i'm not surprised um koshia was sent home she said she wasn't surprised um, because they kind of, I think they did the alliances again, which is so annoying. Um, and I didn't understand why Mika stayed because Mika literally has no matches. She just looks good. But majority of the men on the show wants, want children. And she's letting y'all know, I ain't having no kids. <laughs> Either you rock with it or you don't. I get it. I get it. Um, so... Koshia went home, and as Koshia was leaving, Laron whispered in her, in her ear, I'm a text. You get your... Laron, I've seen you on Little Black Bus. I've seen you on Kamisha. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with Laron and the one I thought was fine, Chaz. Something is wrong. Well, all these dudes had something wrong with them. Where did you find them? I guess it's reflective of the dating pool. But anyways... It goes to Alexis, who I don't like. I don't like you. At least the character you're portraying on the TV. Alexis and Chaz on a date. And the first thing she does is ask about Koshia. Or how would you feel about Koshia? Or whatever. And Chaz is like, oh, I feel bad because she was letting herself feel vulnerable. And she just had an emotional moment. And then she got let go. And then Alexis with a straight face goes... Oh, well, I don't feel bad because our personalities clashed and she went off on me in the lounge. And like this girl, okay, so Alexis, because I've seen people, I've seen a lot of people seeing what I see, but I also see people defending her. And I think it's once again pretty privileged. She looks like one of those characters on Disney. She got the big curly hair. She has the big uh, princess, eye, the big doe eyes, like the baby doll eyes. She weighs probably like 12 pounds. She looks like what? She looked like the princess off of um, Tangled, except she's black. That's what she looks like. And so everybody sort of won't feel sorry for her because usually if an ugly person bring you some, bring you some news, you don't want to hear that crap. But if a pretty person, they, they use it all the time. She is comes off as a pick me. And she comes off as somebody who will do anything to be in good with the guys, even to the point of refereeing games to be around guys so that she will be chosen. That's why I see, I don't care who gets mad, I see you, girl. I've known people just like you. So, and when she brought that up, I was kind of surprised because she made it seem like, oh, she bust out the blue saying she wanted to fight her when in actuality... She basically called Koshia loose and said that's why um, the dudes didn't like her because she was in people's face. But And she deserves it probably because how she's dressed or how she's acting, only for her to turn around and get accosted by Jonathan, who I don't like Jonathan either, um, When during the pajama jammy jam when he picked her up and pretty much placed her directly on his meat in front of everybody while he tried to caress her neck. Y'all heard that? On TV. 
I guess it's at least it's in front of a crowd, but they weren't really. Anyways, anyway, so <laughs> Chaz, who I thought had a connect more of a connection with Vanessa, and who else? Who else? Vanessa and um, is it Patrice? I don't remember or Rashina, one of the two, but one of the blondes. He sat up there and says, I, was, I when I walked in, I spotted you. You've been on my mind. Him and Laron is full of crap because Laron said the same thing about Maya. If that's the case, why are you about to fight and cry over Koshia and Chaz, you all in Vanessa face? That's why I said this teaches you pay attention to who the dudes are really looking at, not who face they in because they have total different plans and who they consider the prize or whatever. So they end the date. And they leave, and she said she wanted to get. She thought that Chaz wanted to give her a kiss, but um, they, you know, they both want to give each other a kiss. But she played it straight, and then Chaz promptly after the date end says that uh, he wanted, like, he has many other connections. So she thinking she the one. He's saying he got many other connections. Now, what else did we remember from this atrocious show? Okay, so um, I'm gonna skip around on the skip around on the dates as well. Um, Maya and oh. Rashina and Justin went on a salsa date. Um, she had her leopard on. He had on his cute little Kwanzaa outfit. It was cute. I loved it. Um, and they got to know each other and spend time. They went on a salsa date. And they both did well. Um, he talked more about, you know, he's a middle school. Uh, he talked more about how why he liked Rashina. And he told um, Rashina that he thought she was sexy and cute and all that. And they kind of built their connection. It wasn't much to it. They also sent Justin on a date with um, Maya. And Maya act like he was... You know when there's a dude that come in the room and they be like, Where my hug at? <laughs> That's how she was treating um, Justin. That shit was hilarious. Where my hug at, girl? You know Maya's beautiful. She looks like a Bratz doll. She's... The full lips, the big eyes. She's a beautiful girl. Wait, I, and if that's a lace front she got on her head, I, I need to. That lace front was laid. But anyways, Justin was saying that um, he wanted to know more about her. Why? Because remember on the last pajama jammy jam episode, um, they asked Maya to twerk in front of the one person that uh, uh, she had the least connection with. And I guess Justin liked her twerk win because... <laughs> He was gonna. He, he he was here for it, and then the other part that was crazy. Uh, Justin likes Mika because Mika looked good, and they were at. A couple of the ladies have been saying, "Do you want kids?" And he's like, "He don't care if he has kids." But then he tells Maya he wants kids, so they're more of a connection because both of them are from Mississippi. They both want kids. They're both around the same age, but Maya told uh, Justin to his face that. William is more of a connection. So, mm, mm. then we had uh, what is his name? Uh, Will, well, William and Zoe. Y'all, Zoe seem a little bit delayed a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, Zoe and um, and I, it's not that I don't think he's cute because he low key looked like my nephew. <laughs> so, but um, Zoe, Patrice. Vanessa and Will all went out on a date. And Vanessa act like she hasn't been around black people like that before. Like, let me go hang out with the with the black folks and see what this be about. I mean they I think she was married to a unmelanated person before. And I dated unmelanated people before when I was younger. It wasn't a big deal. It was straight. Uh both of them treated me well, one treated me way better than the other, but um they were both cool. It is what it is. Love is love. But she acted so out of place and she straight up said Patrice invited me on this date where she had both her top uh, connections. Knowing dang on well, I was going to be over here like a bump in the log and that's what happened. And William, who is eyebrow uh, challenged like me, you, you know, that's why, I, like me, um, said that one of his non-negotiables was he goes, well, his sons, because they're the only people that are genuinely related to him by blood that he knows because he's adopted. That's deep. And he liked to go to the gym because he's an armed forces. And then here go Vanessa talking about some, oh, that might be a deal breaker. I got two kids. I ain't got time to be working out with him like that. Does Will look like he work out? William, I meant to say, because there's a Will and there's a William. Girl, you just don't like that man. You don't think he's cute. You're coming up with excuses. It was a few excuses on this episode that was crazy. 
I said, okay, cool. Whatever, that's crazy. <laughs> we gonna let it ride. Um, but Patrice was asked by the producers which one of the dudes that she liked the most, and she said, no comment. I'm gonna keep that to myself. Um, but I believe her deal, bre deal breaker or non-negotiable was communication. First of all, I don't think these people knew the definition of what a non-negotiable or deal breaker was. And the answer sounded really crazy. But anyways, um, the date was cute. Oh, the other part that was funny about their date was William said, I've been reaching out to you, Vanessa. We were after our date and I haven't been able to get a hold of you. He pulls out his flip phone. They show the phone number. She said, you missing a number. <laughs> so he's been, he said, I've been te text texting into the vortex. Yes, you have. Um, but she don't like you either because if that was the case, she would have hit you up too. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, then they showed a boring ass day. Oh my God. With um with Will and not not Will. Oh my god. Dominique. Where in the world is Dominique? Because he's never on the show. And I see why, because he's boring. And that was one of the ones I like too. Dang. But anyways, Mika was talk Dominique won about 10 kids and Mika said she don't want to have no kids and she ain't met a man that want her to have four kids because she has two kids and your personality is dry so both of their personalities was dry it was boring and they not they don't, they don't want to have kids to get why is we here but anyways yeah so there was that drive behind date then they sent uh rashina and will and Jonathan out on a date, and it seemed like two uh, auntie going out with her two nephews that she promised that they she was gonna take them out. I just felt a raindrop, so I had to jump up because I can't get caught out here. Um, <laughs> so um, and they and they went somewhere, and she was asking questions. And Jonathan, as usual, who I'm pretty sure now is in the witness protection either in the witness protection program or still married or just dusty in general, hiding himself. Um, he got offended and he was like, oh, I'm ready to go. Justin, if he, I mean, not Justin, Jonathan, if he don't like you, he's not going to answer any questions. He ain't going to answer any questions anyway. But if he don't like you, he's definitely not answering any questions. And I don't think he look as good as he think he look. I said it. And uh, I ain't like his short set. Bye, boy. Bye. Anyways, and then Will, another one, the multimillionaire. Uh, apparently who's going around trying to uh, talk about he's gonna sue people because they didn't like him on the show I ain't got no money good luck with that sir um <laughs> no come over here with that bullshit um I believe you're a millionaire whatever you say whatever whatever um so <laughs> he's on there and he starts asking Rashina all these questions and she said she felt like he was digging down too deep so I'm like nobody on the show wants to answer any questions nobody on the show wants you to get to know them how exactly are we dating what are we doing here Boom. Trash. So, did I miss any days? If I did, oh well. Now we go to the ladies' lounge. And everybody's calling out who they don't care for. The bottom three were Will, William, and Jonathan. But Alexis get called out by the girls, especially with Therese, for telling what's going on in the ladies' lounge. Alexis played like she don't know what's going on. But she also says in the same breath that um, Will is his own man. She can't control what she he does with the information she gives him why are you giving the information and what does tommy do tommy just said i'm just here so i don't get fined he comes up they tell him that she's telling everything that's supposed to be in the lounge when it's supposed to be confidential everybody's journey is different let's keep it moving i'm like what trash anyway so i believe who the heck took you Will went with Maya. That's how I know his ass was gonna say. But anyway, Will went with Maya on the date, and they said he gives off homie vibes. Uh, Jonathan was with Alexis, and she said she felt bad for eliminating him. But you also, in the same breath, said you felt some type of way that he lifted you up and put put you on his meat. That's how I know you just want to be light, cause you felt some type of way, but you sat up there in his face and said you felt bad that he was being eliminated when you were part of the reason. They probably got rid of him because of HR issues or whatever. And then you have Will. I forgot who Will was with, but um, Will and John think I eliminated. They definitely need, needed to go, and I because I believe it's because Laylene left that they need to get rid of the dudes. But when I say the pickings for the dudes is ridiculously slim, that they should have just threw this whole season in the garbage. 
but yeah we're here so we see moving forward uh there's gonna be an aftermath from alexis alexis is coming after people for eliminating will now they say uh lebron said we need to get rid of the other poisonous part of the snake saying alexis so now they're more worried about eliminating each other from the show than finding love so we'll see what happens next with that being said that's what happened on the latest episode of ready to love season nine fort worth like i always say love who love you may god bless you with everything that you need and the cps scholar is out bye y'all